<clears throat> hey guys, welcome back to another Monday Motivation. That's right, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday or uh, plan on having a wonderful Monday and a rest of your week. Now, as you guys can see, I'm back to walking and talking. It's been a while. In fact, it's been three weeks since I've literally left my house uh, for one of these walks and talks. So. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Had to let some people through and vice versa. You know, as you guys already know, these streets are kind of tiny. So, all right. So today we're gonna be talking about appreciation. You know, more than anything else, we're gonna be talking about, um, you know, appreciating life and appreciation. And, uh, you know, just, we're gonna be uh, encircling or encircling ourselves around that. Um, and why is that? Well, it's because, uh, Sometimes when uh, you get punched in the face by life, sometimes when uh, shit hits the fan, sometimes when, uh, you know, things kind of suck for a little bit, it actually makes you appreciate, you know, where you're at in life, what you're up to, what you're doing, um, makes you appreciate a lot of things. So, you know, for example, um, I haven't been on here for, I want to say, yeah, it's, uh, I already said it, three weeks. Um, it, partially because you know my family came to visit and then on top of that um, then after they visited I um, suffered uh, you know kind of a little bit of a minor setback uh, you know with my feet and my knees and I wasn't able to walk for damn I want to say almost a week and then recovering from all that and and it's just been a journey and throughout the whole process it's uh, helped me appreciate a lot of things so you know for example you know I love my mom I love my family I love everything but you know sometimes uh, you kind of forget about you know the simple things because you know mom's not around you know family's not around uh, you know you get older um, you forgive and forget um, you um, you grow um, you know things change things you know but people change everything changes so long story short after you know first of all but when my mom came and then after she was here you know during the whole time she was here and then after um, you know she left it's just you know wow during just that whole process it made me really 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 appreciate her more appreciate my family more appreciate life more and so on and so forth um, which sometimes it's uh you know sometimes again it just comes uh in mysterious ways you know i mean honestly it really does you know you i, I was just expecting to have you know fun time with my mom and my cousins and you know all that good stuff but you know a lot of times life throws that curveball at you and sometimes that sometimes that curveball is good it all depends you know what i mean like remember um a curveball is a curveball you know some guys are you know good curveball hitters sometimes you can get that curveball and hit a home run with it a lot of times you know you probably get struck out but that's not the point the point is that you know a cur the curveball when life throws a curveball at you it, it comes at you in many ways so all of a sudden uh you know during the whole time she was here and especially after she left man it made me really really appreciate you know my mom and my my upgrade bringing and all these other things you know just uh made me realize like damn I'm, i was actually pretty fucking lucky to to have the life that i did because if it wasn't for that i wouldn't you know be having the life i have right now it's all um you know part of that process and it's as simple as that uh you know i'm very 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 grateful for pretty much everything you know everything that uh that has come to me you know through life you know the good the bad the ugly and uh and one of the things that i'm so grateful of you know more than anything else is just the simple fact of me being able to you know to build the uh, intestinal fortitude to be able to not just handle life but i mean you know i'm fucking riding this fucking bronco you know like uh to the best of my abilities and i'm fucking killing it i'm fucking uh you know i'm doing really good you know riding this fucking bronco or what have you so that is called life and uh yeah i mean i love it i love it when i get uh all these things thrown at me it's it's freaking awesome all the time <laughs> nice bike man <laughs> um so yeah um yeah i'm not sure i hope it was his bike <laughs> but um but yeah you know it's all about appreciation then you know after you know the, the whole situation that happened to me with my uh with my foot 
and my knees and all that shit, all of a sudden, you know, it made me truly appreciate what it is, you know, to have my fucking feet, to have my, uh, to have my knees, to have, to be able to walk and talk and so on and so forth. Because you know what? There's a lot of you guys out there, you know, that, uh, we talk to, we talk all the time and, uh, you know, not everybody has, uh, the ability to walk and talk, you know what I mean? Or at least walk, you know, and, uh, and I get that. And, uh, you know, sometimes you need, uh, life to throw you a fucking reminder, you know, life to, you know, again, punch you in the face to remind you of, uh, you know, of life for real, you know what I mean? Like, uh, what to be really, truly, you know, grateful for and appreciative of and all that stuff, you know? You know, the fact that I get to, like, run, you know, where I wasn't even able to walk just a couple days ago, a, couple, a week ago, a little over a week ago, now I'm running and uh, back to normal. Well, semi-normal, you already know. I'm never, never normal. But... You know, going back to the, just the whole appreciation thing, you know? You know, right now, you know, you, you know how, how awesome it is that I'm, you know, out here walking and uh, sweating and enjoying some sun. I'm back in, you know, Paseo Montejo. It felt like forever since um, I came out here. And uh, sure enough, you know, when I looked at the calendar, it's like, oh crap, it literally has been a little over three weeks since I've uh, come out here and done this. And it's not just about the filming the video, but just the ability to walk, you know, out in my beautiful neighborhood, you know. Um, again, you know, it's something like I, I, um, I needed for certain things to have happened to me so that I, I could have appreciated it. And again, what happened to me? I just had like a little bit of an injury. Uh, let me let me expand on a little bit more. I just have, um, you know, basic uh, foot problems. You know, I got I'm flat footed and so on and so forth. And I just need to be wearing special shoes you know, special insoles and all that shit. And, you know, just because of a lot of things that have happened to me in life, uh, I wasn't able to take care of that properly. And uh, because of that, you know, we paid the price. So it's just like anything else. You eat too much sugar, you become diabetic. Um, you don't, um, you stretch out correctly, you have back problems. Um, and, and just, you know, so on and so forth. You know, we can go on and on. So it's the same thing, you know, I didn't take care of my feet correctly. Um, and, um, that's what happened. I mean, you know, sure, I stretch and I take care of my body, but, you know, there's just certain things that need the proper equipment, you know, aka I needed special insoles and uh, to put in my shoes so that I can uh, walk. And especially since I walk so much and I'm doing that more and more um, every day and I'm always on my feet. But anyways, I digress. The point is, it's all about appreciation. And, um, now, you know, we already talked about a couple of things. We talked about my mom and family. We talked about, you know, my feet, my ability to walk. But now we're also gonna talk about you guys now for a minute. Because, sure, I mean, I love and appreciate you guys. You know, I talk, you know, I tell you guys all the time is I really, 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 really do. And um, it got to the point, it was, you know, it gets to, it, how about this? But before I, my mom came in early July, so about three weeks ago, um, before she and family came over, I was already um, kind of burning out a little bit, but I didn't think I was burning out. I just thought that I was just, um, you know, I don't know, just uh, tired, whatever, not even tired, just uh, whatever, you know, just I wasn't even thinking too much of it because I'm so used to, you know, running on fumes, you know, running, you know, just doing it, just knocking it out and not thinking too much of it. But it wasn't until, you know, I took the week off with, uh, with my mom and family um and then on top of that um when life forced me to take another week off in fact more than a week off so it came out to like a two and a half weeks you know give or take that i was uh forced in a way to take off and because at first i was a little upset you know one of the main reasons i was, reasons I was upset with my my foot situation and stuff was the fact that i wasn't able to to work you know i knew i was gonna be fine and all that stuff but you know the, that was it was already impeding on my ability to not just make videos but you know to do all the other work stuff that i do and uh as i was like kind of getting upset over that i i quickly reminded myself that i should not be upset over that at all because again i i thank god that i have you know this job this job this career this ability for me to um, for me to be able to, in case something happens, for me to be able to have some time off. Where, you know, before, most of people out there, you know, you guys get just, you know, you, you guys can, don't even have a sick day. They tell you got sick days, but you take those sick days and you probably won't have a job. 
and that kind of that kind of situation so you know it, it made me really appreciate a lot of things it made me appreciate how lucky i am um how not just lucky i am in the sense of like remember you create your own luck but you know how yeah i mean you know how appreciative um i really should be um over the fact that i have you know the things that i have and again um we all are completely different and we all you know have things that we appreciate and so on and so forth um that are very different to all of us you know because again we all live completely different lives but you know my case in particular is just appreciating the fact that i he was able to to you know lead this life to put me in this position you know and that's it and um you know sometimes it's as simple as that you know what i mean and then like this is just that alone you know i'm um, you know being able to you know take that time off and not have to worry about really anything um it really does a lot you know for your mental health i mean it really does you know i mean when you are constantly thinking about oh, i gotta get back to work i gotta pay the bills i gotta whatever i can't get fired i can't get anything man that shit fucks with you and your mental health and your, your actual regular health as well and because um of the situation i was in you know i was able to take care of myself and take care of my health and all that good stuff without any problems now you know going back to just the appreciation of freaking everything by the way i'm a little extra tired because you know it's been um again three weeks since i've taken such a long walk and i haven't gotten much sun and my new my new feet oh, the whole thing you know so just bear with me but you know just going back to appreciating what we have you know it's it's a lot easier said than done you know because you know i'm saying it now after the fact but you know during the time i was you know going through the things that i was going through i, I wasn't able to really you know take this advice i'm giving you right now like i had to it actually came to me as i was you know be as i was immobile as i was able i mean as i was forced to to take time off as i was forced to um you know to do you know the the things that i had to do which was literally take time off you know it wasn't just for physical it was also for my mental well-being you know um you know being able to to take um that time off that was literally forced upon me that you know was what helped me regenerate and re and re um you know come back 1000 percent stronger because you know as i recovered and started feeling better and i you know got back to the computer to not just do these videos but you know to do you know the websites and to do all the things that i was doing and or start, you know have been doing you know it made me realize you know very simply that um sometimes we need a break and so you know right before i stopped doing the videos you know when right before vacation you know my family came you know again i was already kind of running on fumes even though i wasn't running i didn't know i was running on fumes and it wasn't until i had to take this break and go through all this that i realized that i was running on fumes and um you know that's another you know a, a reminder and appreciation of everything that the fact that you know i, I was running hot running so hard for so long that you know I, I, I didn't even notice per se that i needed a break but i didn't need a break and it wasn't until life gave me that break that i realized oh crap i also need a break even though i don't consider that i think i need a break because i don't know it's just for a million reasons um but i actually realized the fact that holy shit i actually didn't need a break um because it wasn't until you know i got out of that you know what I mean? break that i realized oh man wait a minute you know what i mean like um because uh, again i was just running on fumes and i wasn't as excited on every single day to do the things that i do sometimes i was sometimes i wasn't but the reality was that you know it wasn't until um i came back from the break that i realized like oh shit i was burning out because all of a sudden now i wake up every day with the same excitement that i did fuck you know like a long ass time ago and um you know not just to do the videos but to do a lot of the things that i'm you know doing whether it's you know building all these websites um you know um by the way i've added you know newer stuff to my own website on on um on helping you guys you know um with expat services if you if you're curious just go to joseadiaga.com the link is the link is at the bottom and um 
you know, um, you know, I, I build a website for myself. I build a website for my business because I had to build a new one. I build one for my girlfriend. Um, I, I've, I've been making really awesome content that I've been even happier with than usual. Um, I've been able to do so many more other things. Um, meet up with a bunch of you guys, just you know, one thing after another. And uh, before, you know, I was getting overwhelmed, and it wasn't, you know, getting overwhelmed, you know, with uh, with too much to do, but just like. You know, the fact is like, damn, I mean, I don't know if I have enough, all this energy to do it. Not that it was too much. And then I realized, you know, after coming back from the break that I was like, oh, shit, I just needed to rest. <laughs> because now it's like, you know, I'm back to, you know, being able to take on as many things as humanly possible without a problem. You know, because I actually excel the more things I have on my back as opposed to the other way around. You know, that's why I was a chef. That's why I've, I've led the life that I've lived. Um, again, you know, the, the harder things are, the more things on my plate, the better I do. And, um, you know, that's another thing. Once I got back from my vacation, you know, part of it that was, um, you know, part of it that was forced on me and part that wasn't forced on me. Um, you know, I, once I got back, you know, I had like a humongous pile of things that I had to do. Like so many things that I had to do. And that, that was one of the things that actually helped me, um, you know, knock so many more things out because... Again, the more I had on my plate, you know, the more, I don't know, I just spring into action and I take care of things. So I, I guess at the end of the, I guess like what, 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 um, you know, to bring this whole video full circle is, uh, you know, just appreciation guys, you know, that, that you know, that's really what I want to all just kind of like bring up and talk about here. You know, just the fact that we, you know, we, we need to appreciate life a lot more than what we think we do. And, um, sometimes you know, we have to take a vacation. Sometimes we have to stop what we're doing. Sometimes, you know, um, we just, you know, when, when let's say we get like a flu or a cold or some shit like that, sure, I know it feels like shit. And, and, and I mean, I know you feel like shit and you feel crappy and you don't want to do anything else but be sick and get better. But, you know, you, you know that that actually lasts only like maybe a little bit of the time as, uh, uh, you know, while you're sick. And a lot of the other time you're just kind of recovering. And during that time, you know, you should be doing other things, you know what I mean? And not just necessarily like trying to get back to work or trying to, you know, what, whatever it is, you know, that was burning you out. You know, a lot of times we get sick and fucked up because we burn ourselves out to that point where we fuck ourselves up. So that's the thing, you know what I mean? We need to be able to appreciate life a little bit more and not just appreciate it when it comes at you, you know, like in the ways that I, you know, that these things were obvious, you know, my mom came to visit, um, I got injured, um, what have you, you know what I mean? Um, sometimes we have to, you know, force our, force the, you know, um, appreciation, you know, and so yeah, guys, like I was saying before I got rudely interrupted by the heat again, you already know what's up. Um, it's all about appreciation, you know, it's all about life appreciation. So, you know, even the heat, turning off my camera and it, it made me appreciate you know cold weather it made me appreciate um when this camera wouldn't turn off because of the heat it will make me it makes me appreciate the fact that it actually does turn off you know once it gets close to a certain time uh, frame so that way i can shut myself up and uh, end these videos so with that being said um i just want to give a shout out to all my patrons out there i want to give a shout out to all my contributors i want to give a shout out to everyone out there and i hope you guys are having an amazing amazing monday I hope you guys have had an amazing weekend and i hope you guys start appreciating things a little more um because i know i am and um you know sometimes you got to get punched in the face um and sometimes you got to get pummeled in the face for you to really appreciate things but hey whatever the, whatever it takes right whatever you know, how, look, look, however it takes. So look, I gotta cross that way and look at this. Look at my situation here to cross. So again, this makes me appreciate the fact that I can run so that I can cross this fucking uh, insanity here. So, all right guys, just wanna finish this off by saying, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, share this knowledge, share this information, share these words of wisdom. And um, more importantly than anything else, don't forget to stay awesome and enjoy life and enjoy the rest of your Monday and the rest of your week. All right, guys, time to cross the street. Come on, Come on buddy, let's do this. All right, guys, peace out, love you, and uh, I'll see you guys manana. Like, do you understand what's, there's, there's genocide going on right now. Like, what do you think's going on? 
Like, we lack perspective. Your conference got fucked up? Boo hoo, I lost a client? Boo hoo, there's people fucking dying out there. <laughs> like, like, so when Americans or Europeans talk to me about race or gender, I'm sad, it's their real life, but I remind them because it's a positive thing, cool, but let me tell you about the person that's ranked seven billion in the world. They fucking have it bad. We got real, like listen, you know I got hot on this about a year ago, the 400 trillion to one. It's impossible to be a human being. You won. Four hundred trillion to one. When you understand that math, how can't you live your life? That's how rare it is to be a human being. You've been given this ridiculous triple miracle. You've got one at bat, please do something about it. We are living through the greatest era to be alive ever. Yes, there's stuff. I got news for you, there's always stuff. But when you take control of your at bat, when you put it all on yourself, when it's your fault and your wins, when you own it, that's when it starts happening. So please, please squeeze the shit out of your one life. It's impossible to be a human being. You won. I don't know how to get upset after that. I keep shit in perspective. Uh, You know why I'm always happy? I blame myself. When you blame yourself for real, you're gonna always be happy. Because you don't feel like somebody else controls you. This is the reason I'm happy 24-7, 365 for the rest of my life. 400 trillion to one. The odds of becoming a human being. It's, It's about eliminating being at the mercy of anything or anyone. Like, I just don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. You gotta start with yourself because when you're actually allowing other people to get in, you're vulnerable. On me, on me, on me. My fault. There's nothing you can say. My big thing is, don't complain. You're in control. So many people are keyboard activists, right? Everybody's good at sending a tweet about how the world should be and nobody's doing anything about it and that just that is just very much human nature. If you're complaining, do something about it. I don't know if anybody knows, but slavery's been gone for a while. Your boss might be the biggest jerk of all time, but guess what? You can go get another job. Right now, wrap your head around this ridiculous gift that you were given. It's called life. You're using your fucking eyes to watch this and your ears to listen. Go step out and do your thing. The one thing you've always wanted to do or the 10, 50, 100 things you've always tried to do because the only thing that's keeping you back is the other people that are judging you and who gives a fuck about them?